I've just read one of the greatest fairy stories, one of the greatest stories for children ever written, The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen. It's a story I knew oh, when I was, I suppose my mother read it to me when I was four or five years old, and I loved it because it was beautiful. But when you read it now as an adult, you see in it so much more. It's, it's the story, really, the primal story about bullying and about self-belief. And in an age now where we're concerned about how gay children, for example, feel different and are bullied and are made to feel dreadful and um, made to feel different and not part of the ordinary in a, in a world in which people who are not good at athletics, for example, are made to feel weedy and geeky, um, in a world in which anybody um, doesn't fit as a child in particular. Um, the news is that it can get better and that um, and that you can grow into something splendid and that the bullies and the um, those who think everybody should be the same are the ones who always end up as the, um, the drunken tramps sitting in the doorways. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's not doing any harm, quacked Mother Duck. He's too big and strange, the handsome Drake replied. It is just a genuinely marvellous tale. Um, it, it, I don't think I could love anybody who wasn't moved and engaged by it. You're an ugly fellow, the wild ducks told him, but you can stay here so long as you don't marry any of us. But the poor ugly duckling wasn't thinking of marriage. He just wanted to hide away in the reeds where no one could see him and mock him. It's particularly important to be reading it for UNICEF, which is one of the great organizations in the world that looks after children and has done for decades. Um, it goes in into dangerous places and it, it um, looks after the educational and the cultural and the living standards that children all around the world uh, uh, have and tries to improve them and improves them in all kinds of ways. And not least, of course, is, uh, is culture and education and in, in in um, giving them a chance to to achieve to, to achieve their potential. But even a dog won't eat me, the poor duckling thought. He didn't know whether to be glad or sad. Winter arrived, bitterly cold. The water froze, and one night the duckling got stuck in the ice. And that's, that's also what the story of the Ugly Duckling is about, is about achieving your, achieving your potential. It's is from, from a scant childhood to a full adulthood.